I wasn't going to let someone else's opinion or thinking that I was some aftermath wife or I was diminished or dimmed in any way, shape or form. Like and peace. It's Fatima, coach Fatima, one third of Outstanding Personal Relationships and co author of the book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Now, for those of you that are new, I am the initial wife to coach Nadir, two of, uh, <laughs> but not two for one. Now, with that being said, I just wanted to, you know, say that for clarity. Shout out to him and my awesome co wife, coach Nyla. Now, for this video, you know, I like to talk about um, some really pressing issues uh, when I do my my videos. We all do the whole OPR team. We talk about either things we've experienced or we've coached people through and saw them come out on the other side or some vicious comments that were made to us. Honey, I stay ready for it. Now we all do. Um, this this particular subject matter of this video is um, the rebound wife. Now, this has uh, and what is that? Because you're going to like, what does that mean? The rebound wife. It's something that some say happens when your husband marries again. You as an initial wife become his rebound. Now, that doesn't mean he gets divorced. That doesn't, that might some, in some cases, but in this specific case, um, when someone had asked me, uh, where was my place now? Honey, my place is where it's always been. And I'm not going to act like it's not, uh, was my response. Because what they were trying to do is throw the shade, like, because he got married again, I somehow became the second best. Peace once again, it's Coach Fatima. And I just want to step in here really quickly and I want to say that I know that so many women face so many different challenges when it comes to marriage and especially polygyny. I have faced some of those challenges myself in the 26 years that I've been married. And I understand what it's like to go through and overcome those challenges. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help others do just that. So, with that being said, I just want to let you know that if you want to coach with me personally or get counseling from me personally, please visit coachfatima.com for details. Now, I'm going to let you get back to the video that I interrupted. Once again, sound like a piece. That's not possible. And I love that because it allowed me to give them some much needed advice on their perspective of who they thought I was and especially who they thought he was. Uh, it was not a difficult, it was not an easy time in my life, but I tell you one thing, what I was not going to entertain was anyone telling me who he was or who I was supposed to be in his life. Now, what I get, I get from the horse's mouth and what the horse don't say, I ask. So I had had my hard conversation with Coach Nadir about our intentions, both of us, because, honey, you could be a wife and have some really vicious intentions on destroying the marriage because you don't want to be in it anymore. And I get it. But that wasn't where I was. That's not where I am because I don't stay in places that are not fruitful for me. Um, and I don't tell any husband or wife to do the same, but I also don't jump over the fact that there needs to be work attached to, um, you know, you got to have, if you want to harvest, you got to plant the seed, right? So um, I wasn't in, in, in the business of trying to destroy a place that has, has been safe for me over the past uh, 20 some plus years. So with that, I wasn't going to let somebody else come into my situation and tell me what it was going to be or what their perception of it was, because their perception of my situation didn't matter to me. 
Uh, what mattered to me was the health and mental, um, especially the mental health and well-being of the participants in my marriage. So uh, to be treated as a rebound or to be treated as though I was second best uh, was not something easy, but it was pretty easy for me to gather them up and get them together and redirect that negative energy. Honey, if you want to be better, you won't have my company. And especially if you want to be bitter about a marriage that doesn't have anything to do with you. So the marriage had nothing to do with them and they wanted to insert themselves in it and insert themselves and what they thought of me in that. And it's violent to ask somebody, you know, where's your place now? Or, you know, don't you kind of feel like a rebound after he got married? I'm like, what kind of, I almost said some of y'all, I'm gonna try to keep it clean, but what kind of uh, ego must you have to make such a, um, just a terrible assumption upon someone else and then put that violence into my life. So, um, you know, if they threw the, the ball in my court, I threw it back with such fury that it hit them in the face. Now, and I had to because they, they wanted to dictate my life. So I had to think about what I said to myself about myself. You guys have heard me say that many times and I believe it every time I say it and I live by that. I wasn't gonna let someone else's opinion or thinking that I was some aftermath wife or I was diminished or dimmed in any way, shape or form. The people that love me and have showed me that and spoken it from their mouths and tried hard and really tried to rebuild Others are not going to make me think anything otherwise because I have the receipts and I have the proof and I see their intention. People can tell you all day what their intentions are on you and, and, and still you won't see any effort in that regard. But those people that tell you, look, I'm here. I got an ear for you. It's going to be OK. We're going to get through this. I'm going to do my work. You do your work. I'm going to do my work. Those are the people that care and love you. So I surrounded myself with friends and family and relatives that loved me and loved my family, not just me, and that loved my marriage. And that felt so good. And that is why I sit before you today after much, uh, much personal development. I'm still going through that as Coach Fatima. Um, because I did my work and I'm still doing my work, y'all. I'm not done and I don't, I won't ever be done. Um, the expiration date on the work that I've done on me expires when I do. The same day I do is when that work is finished. Now, with that being said, let's be very mindful about what we say to people about themselves or who we think them to be. Ask proper questions. Don't shell out insults. Don't be nice, nasty. We grown. Let's act accordingly. Now, with that, if you guys are interested in our coaching or counseling from either one of us or the three of us or myself, please contact us or check us out at outstandingpersonalrelationships.com slash store for details. Now, as I always say, I hope you guys got some gems from this uh, video. I have fun uh, doing these videos because I like bringing people together. All three of us do because we know what it's like when people try to pull you apart. Now, I'm going to leave you with a little GLC. Make sure you're growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. Yay! <laughs> Coach Fatima. I'll see you guys in the next one. Salam alaikum. Peace. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling, if you want to work with us one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC. Make sure you are growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. Peace.